Well, hi, Soul Family. It's Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do a general collective energy read. I know it's been a while, family, but I need um, to work on some uh, private readings. Um, my All of my clients aren't from YouTube. Um, so, seems like some of the things that um, have come out in people's readings um, here on YouTube platform, a couple other platforms, and uh, along with my private readings are uh, starting to come home to roost. So, <clears throat> how's everybody been doing? I hope and pray everybody has been doing well and that you've been taking care of yourselves. You've been doing what's necessary to get you where you're supposed to be, family. It's good to be able to come back in and read. I need you guys to go back a couple of months, um, minimum two months. Some of the readings that are showing up for the readers now, I've already posted your readings. As I stated before, I'm a seer. So I have the ability to predict fairly well out into the future, up to 30 years. So um, if you didn't recognize your reading a couple of months ago, go back and check it out. Some of you, your readings are sitting right there waiting for you. You can go anywhere from two to six months, and a lot of this is going to resonate for some of you guys. Um, I got readings that go back a year for some of y'all, and it may resonate. But um, I'm going to take a look at some things, family, here. Um, so I want to get into what is going on <clears throat> In the Divine Masculine Collective. We got somebody here that's an online um, scammer. They're an online profiler. They miss you like crazy. This person keeps multiple options. Some of you maybe even be going back to school. This person could be going back to school. I have coroner here too. And up underneath coroner, I have an agent. Somebody here is definitely dealing with a wolf in sheep's clothing. Cat's out of the bag on something. Ooh, somebody sinister is fuck here. Family, y'all know time is fluid, so this could be past, present, and future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them. Same-sex relationships as well as divine counterparts. Anytime you were guided to my channel, you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive a message. If for whatever reasons the messages do not resonate for you, come back and check at a later date. I'm telling y'all, half of y'all readings are two to six months ahead of ahead of the schedule. I sometimes am right here with the collective, but the majority of the time I'm ahead of the collective. So family, um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, old and new. Thank you so much. And God bless you for sharing your journeys with me. And I'm not a surface reader. I'm an intrusive reader. I'm going to get to the bottom of shit if I can do my best to get to the bottom of it. So that's why I prefer to use my own deck because what what lies beneath the surface is the shit that they ain't fucking telling you. And some of y'all unfortunately resonate with the shit that I put out. Thank y'all for all the love and support, all the donations, all the bookings and the readings. Thank y'all so much for all your love and support. Um, family, some of y'all need to get on Etsy and go order you, if you can, order you some um, ancestor money. It's beautiful too. This one particularly is 444 centillion dollars. This is to help any karmic debt was that was left over by your um, ancestors and you are to burn that money so you can help them. Now, I keep a little pot here with the ashes that I burned from my ancestors. You can also, because that money represents to your ancestors known or unknown. I started out with this type of money, but I still burn it because it was for my ancestors to help them have an abundant afterlife. And this is what you will want to do for your ancestors as well. Um, you just let them know to my ancestors, known and unknown, I um, am sending you this money 
So this is to eliminate and pay off any karmic debt. So it is. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I burn frankincense uh, when I do your readings and things of that nature. And I also um, sometimes, and I can sense that some of you um, are experiencing financial hardships. Um, if you've gone through a full awakening and it was a harsh one, Nine times out of 10, you lost your job, you lost your home, you lost your car, you lost um, monies. You couldn't explain it to no one why you were losing everything. And it's not that you're a lazy person. It's not that you were not trying to work. It was just the fact that God had stepped in and it was time for you to be awakened to who you truly are, what your spiritual purpose and your mission here is. So... I just wanted to share some of these things with y'all. And I told y'all, yeah, you're going to need to go back a couple of months, like maybe back up to six months. When I said um, they hired um, some of y'all, it's a professional shaman that's on your ass with a high priestess. Some of these people, yeah, there's a shaman and a high priestess involved in some of this shit. When I say they went and got some uh, professional help to fuck us up, the readers are picking up on it now. Yeah, you got some professional, um, these ain't no, um, <clears throat> you know, you, you spend 50 bucks with us and we just give you a reading. Um, and I pray to God that nobody, a part of the collective is involved in black magic or practices it because you know what happens. This shit is going to come back to you. But what I do know is your divine counterparts and their karmic partners. Oh, baby. I told you they were up in the ante on this shit. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for my collective. What is going on in my divine collective? And I'm not doing the divine masculine just yet. But I am finna post what is coming. Better yet, what's coming towards some of my divine collective? What's coming towards some of my divine collective, Holy Spirit? Somebody here has an unhealthy lifestyle or you're dealing with somebody that's got one. This person is reckless. They sleep around unprotected. And I told y'all before, you can go back a year again. Jail time, financial ruin, STDs, hidden babies, hidden bisexuality. Go check it out. Divine masculine and soulmate readings. Yeah, somebody that... <clears throat> Your person wants you to run away together. Didn't I just say fucking sexually transmitted diseases? I'm not playing with y'all. This shit ain't changed. Didn't I say professional voodoo practitioner? Y'all got people out here on your ass and they're stuck in secret organizations. And I spoke about this before. Family, these people are up to some real taboo ass shit that they don't fucking want you to know about. Somebody has been disinherited. They got no motherfucking money coming their way. All because this motherfucker wanted to wear a mask. Yeah, well, I guess the mask is off. Yeah, some of them seen a damn ghost. That might have been some of y'all ancestors on the <laughs> It could have been a cancer. <laughs> somebody here is trying to have hope. And somebody here is fooling with dirty politicians, okay? Now, I'm going to start clarifying some of this shit that already done hit the board. We got enough shit right here. Oh, my gosh. It, it never fails. It never ceases to amaze me how these people feel like they're in the right about what they're doing where you're concerned. Like someone has the right to do you dirty because this motherfucker is dirty. You dig what I'm saying? The fuck? Down at the bottom of the deck, the most high is involved here. And if you would like to um, purchase some of these beautiful decks, I've got three of them sitting here on my um, altar. This is the Mega Medical Oracle deck. This is Speak to Me. That's it, Speak to Me deck. And this deck is Trace Evidence. All of these beautiful decks you can order through Omen Tarot. 
com. So Holy Spirit, tell me about the sexually transmitted diseases. Why are they here for the divine collective? My goddamn divine collective. So, did, did not tell y'all that somebody was hiding that thing was somebody got a permanent fucking STD. <laughs> yeah. Somebody here, their body is nasty. It is unsafe. This motherfucker is an Agent Smith. They're going through an awakening. Somebody here, the police is looking for somebody too. Because somebody here is being charged with giving somebody a sexually transmitted disease. The Most High said something about that. Let me... Mm -mm -mm. Wow. I told y'all, family... This is a whole fucking mess. A whole mess. And I'm burning Kayati. This is a royal incense. Because some of y'all have Indian royalty in your blood or in your veins and you don't know it. Or some of y'all just royal, period. But we are royal because we are God's emissaries here. Tell me about why this person is hiding this. You can't hide from the most high, so I don't know what the hell. They need to go do a spiritual detox. Somebody needs to really sit. You guys might want to buy you some black salt and mix your black Himalayan pink pink sea salt um, along with your, your pink salt and mix it. Put it in your shampoo. Put it in your hair. Um, make sure you scrub your scalp good because they are trying to attack your crown chakra, especially for those of you who are readers. They want to destroy you. Tell me. Yeah, court cases. Most high are seeing that. And you know, these folks are being spiritually judged too. Somebody that either they've been dogging your footsteps or you've been dogging theirs or somebody has been being gang stalked here. Holy Spirit, tell me more about the sexually transmitted disease. Somebody here may also have some weapons that they're hiding. And you know what? That's a secret weapon too, that sexually transmitted disease. Somebody here wants to commit suicide or will commit suicide or somebody's going to make it look like somebody committed suicide. Yeah, somebody that may not be a dark haired person. What else, Holy Spirit, can you tell me about this sexually transmitted disease here? Some of you might be dark haired people and they want you to have that sexually transmitted disease. I bet you a hundred to one, if you sleep with your person, fuck a condom, fuck a condom, tell that motherfucker and y'all set it and set it up and do it together. Go and get a damn STD panel. If that mofo can't take a STD panel, fuck them. Not mean that shit. Yeah, some of you are dark haired. Some of you are light haired. Somebody here knows the information too. And there could be a missing person that's involved in this as well. They could actually be looking either for you collective or they're looking for a woman that gave them this goddamn STD. Oh, hell yeah, it's a lot of fucking trauma here. This should change somebody's motherfucking life because this ain't no damn temporary transmitted disease. But this is a permanent one. The roots run deep on this shit. Somebody here could have also slept in someone's family. And this may not be the first time that your person or in your family that somebody has a sexually transmitted disease and have passed it down from generation to generation. Somebody here is releasing themselves from being mentally imprisoned by all of this stress and trauma. Yeah, but somebody here definitely dealt with somebody that was an online scammer, a liar, a fucking fraud. They're fraudulent. And they're, they've they been watching your ass, Collective. Mm-hmm. Highly emotional about your ass, too. Yeah. 
is the gift that keeps on giving here amongst the fam the circle of friends for your co for your uh counterpart hmm might be for some of y'all too you better strap up or keep your shit closed close your motherfucking legs that's the best i can tell you and this motherfucker is planning to give you this std by any means necessary fyi okay They'll lie to you and tell you, mm -mm, we ain't got one. I don't have it. I would never do that to you. I heard somebody's shit is on their fucking lip. It dripped. Do you understand what I'm saying? Drip, 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 drip. Follow the drip. This motherfucker got herpes of the fucking mouth. All right? From multiple fucking people. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Seven of Cups. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody here don't want to beef with nobody, but motherfucker, you run around here giving people permanent STDs, you're going to get your ass shot. If the goddamn cops don't get your ass first. Yeah, for fucking juggling. They fighting multiple people. Because this bitch was reckless, whoever the fuck it was. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, specifically the fool. Yeah, somebody ain't sticking around for this shit and somebody didn't go within. Virgo energy. Didn't I say by any means necessary? This motherfucker here ain't shit. And they still hiding that they betraying people. Hidden betrayal. And they ain't talking about it either. This motherfucker need... Look at this shit. Look, collective... Your person need to go sit their hot, nasty asses down and heal and renew. There is a major motherfucking soul contract here. And this person is the fucking devil. They need to tame their lust spirits. That ain't that the goddamn truth. This nigga is nothing but a fucking player, male or female. And this is why they were so slow to commit to you, collective. Fuck. You got my folks fucked up. And if you think I'm going to shut my fucking mouth, and this is a message to the masculines. If you think I'm going to shut my motherfucking mouth and these motherfucking co-ass karmics they fuck with, if you think I'm going to shut my motherfucking mouth and not let my collective know, bitch, go keep sucking the same sick dick you've been sucking on. Got me fucked up. Y'all got me highly fucked up. Shit, I can stay on this sexually transmitted disease right here for the motherfucking longest. And they got a fucking family to boot. So this nigga is... How the fuck you go home and kiss your kids with this bullshit? How the fuck do you do it? Y'all, for those of y'all that celebrate holidays, enjoy the holidays. But be mindful of who the fuck you hug and kiss, okay? Family and motherfucking friends. Look at this shit, family. Family and motherfucking friends is here. And them two tens is together. Some of y'all are definitely seeing ten ten. Somebody here is hella motherfucking toxic. All these cards sitting down at the bottom of the deck. This person is needing to curb their fucking addiction. Your person got a fucking addiction. And they are under judgment. Look at all the fucking negative cards. Uh, and they're lying. They're de sneaky and they're deceptive. And guess who they looking back at? You motherfucking divine feminine. That's who they looking at. Somebody that they want to get pregnant. You fucking nigga. Sit your hot ass the fuck down. Ain't nobody fucking with you. <coughs> Ain't nobody fucking with you. You little stupid ass bitch. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Uh. Y'all have to excuse me. I feel some type of way. I feel some type of way. Tell me about this voodoo practitioner. Shit. Ain't nothing out here positive. But I'm damn sure gonna make sure y'all get the message. Somebody need help. 
this motherfucker trying to call 911. Whether they trying to call it spiritually or they trying to call it for real. Literally. Somebody is going through an awakening and there's an agent involved here. What else is here, Holy Spirit, on this spiritual practitioner? Why are they here in my collective's reading? Somebody been going to meet this motherfucker, okay? Time for a change. Somebody need to change their mind, change their life, change their way of doing things. Because most high already know what the fuck you're doing, okay? Yeah. Look at your divine masculine, the boss. Aries, Taurus, energy don't have to be. Very guarded, very defensive. Some of them from the military or still currently in the military, getting their karma, getting their asses kicked. They drowning in their fucking emotions because they still on the fucking prowl. Some of them social services are involved because this would be a man or a woman. It don't matter. And they're hiding that they got secret court cases. Yeah. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You ain't coming this way with that bullshit. Go back over there. Never mind. Let me behave myself. Because I, I feel in some type of way. It's been a minute since I came in and did a reading for you guys. And I miss reading for y'all. Trust me, I do. And it's taken so damn long for them to um, upload. But... I still got to give my messages. And on time, I also need to let the collective come, uh, catch up sometimes with me. Or maybe I don't. Hell, Spirit gives me my messages to give to y'all ahead of schedule for a reason. Somebody here is definitely in mental health about a situation that's out of town. Somebody here might be um, have went out of town to go see this voodoo practitioner. Holy Spirit, tell me something about this voodoo practitioner and why it's in my collective reading. Yeah, somebody is trying to watch you, collective, or either watch this. This voodoo practitioner might be trying to watch you, trying to see you, or they may even see you. If you have a social media page or you have a social media platform, this motherfucking voodoo practitioner is watching you. Some of you could be dark haired. This voodoo practitioner could be dark haired. I heard dreads. It won't be a crime scene, but spiritually it's a spiritual crime scene. Somebody's daughter is involved in this shit too. Possibly. Yeah. Did. Oh. Uh, Oh, and FYI, y'all know folks been fucking with y'all Akashic Records, some of y'all, right? Trying to go in there and do the switcheroo, change your um, curses. Um, those that um, those karmics and those divine counterparts that have deduced themselves down to karmics um, have went inside of the Akashic Records and tried to switch your. That's why Disinherited is here um, to gain everything that is meant for you. After all the shit that you've been through. This person too may, somebody here may practice medicine. They may actually be a doctor. Or this is a situation where a voodoo practitioner is doing this to a doctor that's in my collective. What else? Somebody here that's an older person. Gray hair is here. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody here, there may have been a rape, sexual aggression. Somebody here is ashamed of a rape situation. Blood money. Somebody did this for blood money. Somebody has been stealing out of someone's bank account. Wow. This is some crazy ass shit. Who the fucking why the fuck? Are there any health issues here that this voodoo practitioner is actually... Um, trying to cause my collective directly, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Let the card jump out. OCD, some of them trying to drive you crazy, make it a mental disorder. Some of you might be um, trying to be extra, extra 
protective of being clean, orderly, things of that na nature. Anything else here, Holy Spirit? Or either this, uh, o this voodoo practitioner is OCD. Some of you, it could be an abscess. Or either this practitioner has got it. Whatever they send it to you is coming back to them. Somebody here could also be having suffering from heart disease. Oh, there it is. We got somebody here is pissed because there's pregnancy here. Or somebody just recently had a baby. Somebody here also suffers from a nicotine addiction. So either you or the practitioner or your uh, divine counterpart. Somebody here also has gonorrhea. And they could have gave it to this fucking infant too. Somebody here could also have a cold. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Is this practitioner trying to give my people? Yeah, I got somebody here that's... Um, somebody wants somebody to be really sick. Cancer. And somebody is lactating. Leukemia is here. Jesus Christ. Somebody is definitely wishing ill will on the motherfucking collective. Somebody here trying to make sure that you have fluid retention. The flu, sick. Well, thank God asthma was in the reverse. I'll tell you the truth. Dizziness. So if anybody has been feeling dizzy, know that this is uh, somebody that um, is sending you Black magic. Somebody is attacking somebody's crown chakra. Tell me more about this voodoo practitioner, Holy Spirit. Well, you definitely know she doing it for money. Might be even doing it to block, or he doing it to block your money. Yeah, somebody paid a voodoo practitioner. And this motherfucker is waiting on the outcome. Did she die? Did he die? That type shit. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Motherfucker. That kind of shit is y'all doing. This is some baby back bullshit right here. Oh my God. Tell me about this Buddha practitioner, Holy Spirit. God damn. Yeah. They don't want you to have no motherfucking stability, no marriages, no relationships, no commitment. They definitely against your goddamn union. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the energy they want you in. Fucking five of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes, the magician is here. For some of you, it could be a fucking Aries, Gemini, or a Virgo, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it's being done to an Aries Leo Sagittarius. This shit is meant to hurt your ass. See that fucking crown chakra? Yeah, they after your crown chakra. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Some of them don't want to see you gifted as you are. What else, Holy Spirit? They also trying to block and delay your motherfucking money too. I think the fuck not. The fuck is... <laughs> oh. Woo, somebody about to get some motherfucking karma for this shit. Got to be more careful. You fucking with this damn twin flame union. Oh, this shit. Well, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's going to be an ending. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, North Node. Because somebody is holding on to you. Somebody that's already in a marriage and a commitment. Somebody already took their monies and invested it someplace else. Because they had a fucking child. Some of them did this with somebody that they may not be married to this person. And in the process, they rejected your ass. That's what happened here. What else, Holy Spirit, about this voodoo practitioner? What else are they doing toward the divine collective? Spirit said this is the motherfucking truth. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any sign. Any sign, sweetie. Any sign. This is some crazy shit. Who the fuck goes this far out of their way to go against God's chosen? It ain't our fault that God signed us up and we signed up for this process and this project. Clearly, you signed up for your damn part of the shit, too. So why are you so mad with us? Okay. Why are you so mad with the collective? 
Don't be a hater all your motherfucking life. <laughs> yeah, go sit your ass down and detox. That's what you need to do, okay? Detox. de motherfucking tox. No weapon formed against me and my damn divine collective that I work for shall prosper against us or over us. I speak nothing but love, life, blessings, abundance, health, wealth, prosperity. Fuck y'all. I think y'all forgot who I was. I'm that type. I'm that type. I'm that fucking beast, okay? <clears throat> and let's see what else. Tell me about this secret organization, Spirit. What's up with this secret organization? It's very fucking taboo. Some of y'all connected to some very high people. Somebody is trying to avoid a warrant or there's no warrant for nobody's arrest that's in the secret organization. And that might be good for you. Or good for them. Preferably, it's going to be good for them. Yeah, somebody that's definitely trying to avoid their karma in this situation, that's in a secret organization. Yeah, somebody is definitely planning something. Somebody, oh, somebody want to set fire to some receipts here. <laughs> Time for a change. Something is going public for somebody here that's single. Yeah, it's a part of their soul contract. And this could be a, a drug dealer. Yeah, spiritual realm, court cases. Somebody got secret sex addictions. Oh, shit. Wow. Somebody is really, really hiding. This could be what this uh, secret organization is all about. The sexual addictions. Holy Spirit, give me more 